Hey everybody, um, today I want to show you how to make your own uh, floral uh, heart shaped wreath. Um, I had intended to use the uh, wreath from um, Heart Shaped Wreath from Dollar Tree, um, but it was hard to glue those roses on. So what I'm going to do is modify this and make my own. Um, you can have use the frame if you want. It was just a little bit harder to glue those roses around it. So what I'm going to do is use this actually uh, for the tracing material. And the other materials you're going to need are um, some um, roses. Um, it's ended up looking like I need about eight picks from um, of roses of your color from Dollar Tree. Um, you can need some foam boards. Um, if you don't have this uh, heart shape uh, wreath, I have bought it and intended to use it, but I'm just going to use this as my template instead. You can use this or you can just draw your own heart shape and cut it out that way. And in the middle, I'm going to take this little picture frame, uh, which I also got from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to put it in the middle and you're going to need some ribbon, some scissors, some hot glue, and of course extra glue stick. Um, and you can find this DIY on the Sand Hills Regional page at Facebook and also on the Richmond County Facebook page, our library page, um, at 10 o'clock on Fridays. Uh, look for us every Friday at 10 o'clock um, for any adult um, crafting program. Um, and there's also a variety of other things. Um, but to get started, I'm going to, um, like I said, I did try this. Um, I was uh, going to, um, use this so I can remember to record it. Um, but the wreath, this frame was not working. Um, if you can see this, I doubt you can see all the glue stuck to it. But I'm going to clean this off and use it for something else. I will recycle. Uh, the glue, it just wasn't holding right and it just wasn't coming out the way I like. So, that's one thing about crafting. You just adapt and use what you got and try if it doesn't work. You had, and you try something else. So what I'm going to do is use this pit, this frame for my template. I'm going to make two because oh, this foam board is not really um, thick. So I'm going to glue the two together and make my heart shape. And if you see my little glue fingers, it's just my uh, finger protectors for um, the hot glue uh, because the glue hurts if it gets on. Okay, so to get started, what you're going to do is take your pencil. And just trace the inside because I want this um, hollow on the inside because I want to hang my picture frame on. I mean, if you want to do the whole solid heart, you can. You can do it that way also. Um, and just trace the outside of the end. I'm going to trace the inside and the outside of the heart. And make sure I got all of it. I'm going to move that out of the way. I'm gonna use this board, slide this down here. Use my board. But you can see my roses, they were glued together. <laughs> like I said, I tried, but we're just gonna adapt, modify, and move on. Because I really like this heart shaped wreath, and I really do. I want it to use to decorate the library with. Um, if you use the foam board and not the wreath, you're gonna need uh, some scissors or an exacto knife. I recommend an exacto knife for cutting a foam board because it cuts cleaner. Um, and you can make sure your your shapes are the same size because I want to, like I said, I want to glue these two together. Um, it's just that when you do glue these together, because it is foam board, you need to make sure your heart. Or not your heart, excuse me, your roses or your flowers or whatever you use to cover your heart with covers the rims of it. So you won't see the foam itself, you just need to make sure you see the flowers. And like I said, all this stuff stems from the Dollar Tree. It's all a dollar, even a foam board. And you can see where I cut this in. That was the base of my other one that went with this. So you see, you can get many crafts. 
wraps out of one piece of foam board. And you can actually save these little hearts in the middle if you want to use them for something too. Covered this up, um, and like I said, I recommend uh, the exacto knives when you're using cutting foam board because foam board can send the splinter at the ends and the foam pops out. So it's best to have a sharp blade that you can clean the cuts to. And you can see my board is full of hot glue from the last try, so we're gonna do this again. <laughs> like I said, it's just that's the part of crafting, you just you roll with it. Make sure your um, pieces kind of go together. My cutting was a little uneven, so what I'm gonna do is just um, I'm gonna hot glue it first. Um, not gonna lower temp hot glue, but this is all I got at the moment for this foam board. But I just wanna make sure it sticks together really good because this is your frame. This is our modified frame. Just please be careful because that is hot. Get it as close together as you can. Just hold that for a second. And if you see pieces of some hot glue and you don't have these little protectors for your fingers, just use a, a popsicle stick or Something and just hold it down too and just scrape off the glue at the edges. Alright, I think that's pretty stuck together. So what I'm gonna do is this side actually looks a little better. So I'm gonna use this side as my front. Just choose which side you want to use for your furniture frame. I'm going to glue this on and see how it looks first. Like I said, these are glued together because I just tried it before. Um, I got as many as a part as I could with, with roses. I meant with these crafts, you just kind of have to roll with it. But I really saw, I saw this online and, and they're really expensive online, but I thought that we could try and make one ourselves. Well, it'd be a little bit less than expensive. You can just take your flowers, your different flowers, um, petals, and you're gonna go all the way around your um, your frame. Whichever frame you decide to use, uh, you can use that wire one. If you use that wire one, try putting maybe mesh around it, um, like a tool, wrap it around it. It may would help you. Um, this is just the materials that I had a hand on hand. Uh, so I'm gonna glue these on, and while I do that, I will be speeding through this. So let me get started, and as soon as I finish that, I'll show you how to um, attach your photo frame.
Just be careful when you turn this over, um, because it is flowers and you want to mush them. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want my pink ribbon. Because like I said, I got this in Dollar Tree and you, you, you might can see it's got little bunnies and stuff on it. So it's a little uh, more deeper pink for the Easter holidays. Um, I'm just trying to see if this will be too dark of a pink. No, I believe I like that. It's got that shiny rim. You might not can see that, but I think I'm gonna go with that one. Um, I'm just gonna take my own ribbon and measure it because I want this. This is what's gonna hold my picture frame. So what I'm going to do is the back of, now this picture frame did not come with one of these. Um, I, um, I painted it, um, still came a silver color. Um, it's a two by three, which is a wallet size. But, and you can probably see I painted it. I wanted it uh, just to have like a hint of pink. So what I did was I used mixed some white paint and just a little bit of uh, hot pink with it to get and mix it until I got the color I wanted but you match it to your color or your um of your flowers or whatever design you want and I, and I printed this out I just looked on google and got me a cute little saying this one says you make my heart you you make my heart smile I thought that was really sweet for the holidays and you can also uh change that out if you want to it's up to you or you could put uh to go along with your um the photo frame of your family, you can also put a picture of your family member in there also if you want. So what I'm going to do is, I want this to go in the middle of my picture frame. You can stop there, you don't have to um, put the frame in if you want. If you want to stop there, you can. Um, it's just that I really like this in here for Valentine's Day. Um, first, I'm gonna glue this on. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is in the middle. Poke out just a little. Okay. And we're gonna just take this and we're gonna glue this down. And I will add that extra piece in just a second once I see where this is. Now to hang this, uh, you can use your white ribbon, you use ribbon of your choice, but the way that really looked, I thought that, I think that uh, pink ribbon looked really pretty with that the sparkly to it, so I'm going to use this to hang it, and like I said, because it's lightweight, you don't have to have a heavy, heavy, heavy duty ribbon. You take your piece of ribbon.
And you're gonna do it like a, um, almost like a, a breast cancer ribbon type thing, you know, the symbol. Um, and we're gonna just glue that down like that. And there you have it. Your beautiful little heart shaped wreath. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, like I said, check us out every Friday at 10 o'clock on the um, this is our Sand Hills Regional Library System page on Facebook, and also on the Richmond County Library page on Facebook, and also on the Hamlet Library page on YouTube for uh, more crafting videos. I hope you enjoy, and you have a good day. Thank you.